Welcome to the Weather Guru Podcast for July 29th, 2024 here. Thank you for joining me. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest watches and warnings and weather in the lower 48 United States. Right now, we're looking at the current watches and warnings affecting the lower 48. And right now, we have two tornado warnings in South Dakota, one in Jones County and another in Millett's County. As this is the Jones County warning here, you can see a great hell core producing big hell almost up to three inches in diameter. Storm is moving southeast at 30 miles an hour. Tornado and baseball size hell is already there. So get to the lowest level of your house, your basement. If you don't have a basement, get to the lowest level and get as many walls in between you as a storm as you can here in South Dakota. This is for Jones County, uh, South Dakota over Westover, 10 miles south of Murdo, and is moving southeast at 30 miles an hour. It's heading toward the town of Mosher and um, just to the northeast of White River here in Murdo, south of Murdo. We have a tornado confirmed on the ground, radar indicated. Uh, and three inch diameter hail, baseball size hail coming in Jones County here. Now, we also have a tornado warning for Millette County up here. And this is the same river north of White River, South Dakota here. And if I zoom out here, you can see this storm right here is rotating and it's producing those tornado warnings just south of Murdo, South Dakota here, right in the heartland, the middle of South Dakota here. So we have those tornado warnings here. You can see an inflow notch here. And these storms are moving in the opposite direction. They're moving southeast here at around east, southeast at around 27 knots. So a very fast moving storm here. But you can see that hook there just in there. Um, as, as it's coming south of Murdo here um, along this highway here. So it's moving towards, if you're in those areas, if you're toward uh, Murdo, South Dakota, uh, uh, it's going to be at 8 o'clock. It's going to be toward the southern part of uh, Manette and Jones County here. You want to take shelter here because there is a storm that's going to be impacting your area. Westover, South Dakota, Murdo is moving southeast at 30 miles an hour. A tornado warning, flying debris here. We can go to the, the velocity here and you can see there it is excuse me there it is that coupling right there south of myrtle that's a tornado moving along south southeast in the weird direction as you know most tornadoes move uh, the majority of tornadoes move from southeast to northeast this one is moving from south to the southeast so it's coming down from the southeast in that quadrant there and you can see the velocity you can see the rotation of that system there perfect on the reflectivity here and you can see there it is right there moving southeast to a myrtle south dakota now we also have severe thunderstorm warnings most of these are for hail generated storms in the south here in georgia this is toward ben hill and wilcox county down towards jacksonville area here um in savannah fitzgerald georgia here in the middle um in the middle of southeast georgia here so if you're in these areas, just to the east of I-75, Fitzgerald, Adel, Georgia, um, just to the east of Cordell and Tifton, Georgia, U.S. Highway 84 here, you want to be careful. There is hail coming up here along those areas, about a half inch size hail. Vidalia, you just passed hail. Glenville, Georgia, these are heading towards you. Hinesville, you're going to get it in the next 30 minutes here toward the base and also towards I-95 in Savannah, Georgia. Some storms here, though not producing hail. Some heavy storms up toward Paris Island, Hilton Head Island, Savannah, um, down towards the southern suburbs of savannah as well rice Barrel and those areas there on i-95 they're getting rain but this part of a complex that continues to have severe weather as well as in maryland a severe done someone is producing hail and 60 mile wind 60 mile an hour wind gusts with glen burney and arundel county southgate pasadena Har harbor along route 2 there 97 be very careful they're heading toward arnold cape st Clair. all of you guys are going to experience lightning and um hail up to one inch here as it briefly races across here it's moving very fast here. These storms are moving very fast here through Severn um, and producing quarter penny size hail. Um, and they're going to be continuing to move in those storms. So that's a look at the severe thunderstorm warnings there. Now I want to switch gears here and go back to the hazards that we have going on nationally here. And nationally we have hazards going on that's going to affect the, um, the lower 48 here. We have the storms coming in to the... Uh, producing heat basically in the south and this heat is going to continue to affect all over the mid mississippi valley the tennessee valley up into the plain states and then we also had the tornado uh the red flag warnings excuse me up into montana um into wyoming and in western utah so that's going to continue to well so the heat is continuing to bubble up and we have these typical afternoon summertime thunderstorms like i said that is um has it's a part of the dakotas here with the severe thunderstorm watch and tornado warnings they're in effect for south dakota as you can see here in red and 
this pinkish color here so that will continue to be the case and then later on tomorrow that threat shifts eastward obviously toward the high upper plain states and things of that nature we still have elevated rivers in texas as well and that continues to be an issue so we want to be careful if you're going toward the sabine river pass here in texas toward uh, lake charles nacogdoches texas Texarkana, areas like that in the river south of um the matagorda bay here it's still elevated as another thing green that's a flood watch flood warning for some of those rivers elevated rivers there so that's what we have going on here across the country here hurricane center uh we had that still storm out there that's given a 50 percent chance this will become our next tropical depression soon here in the next seven days here and then enters in the bahamas uh Turks and Caicos, Florida, and the Gulf of Mexico and, and need to be aware of this storm. Now, it's going to face two options. Either it faces a lot of land interaction here. This land interaction is going to come in like that, and uh, it could come into the Gulf. If it comes into the Gulf as a weaker system, it has a chance to intensify rapidly because the waters are so warm here, and it's not that wind shear that we had with Barrow. That won't be a factor with this system. But um, if it does stay to the east and northeast of the Bahamas, there's a chance it can miss all of these islands and head out to sea. Um, or just kind of rake up the east coast here and rake the outer banks and then head out to sea too around the Bermuda High. So those are two options there. Um, right now, most systems, most models have this going to like a, a tropical storm, a strong tropical storm, a category one hurricane right now, possibly. But we'll have to wait and see. It's too far out. It's seven days out. Now in the eastern Pacific, we have two areas of interest, but they're moving away from land. Um, this area is given an 80% chance this will be our next tropical storm here in the eastern Pacific. And uh, this other disturbance here is moving away from land. It's going to be dissipating soon. And then you can see the Atlantic wide basin combo here. Here, just a lot of showers and storms in the Pacific. Atlantic is quiet. Caribbean is quiet. Just a little wave coming across Jamaica and Cuba. And then we have showers in Florida unrelated to a trough here, not related to anything tropical. That's what we have going on. Thank you for joining me on the Weather Guru Podcast. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.